Welcome back to Sky News Business Live. Now, you could be forgiven for thinking that there's very few parts of our lives that the retail giant Tesco hasn't got covered. Well, today we learnt that after the successful launch of its own tablet computer last year, Britain's biggest supermarket is now planning to have its own make or smartphone on the shelves by the end of this year. Tesco's Huddle, a budget answer to Apple's iPad, has now sold half a million units. The upgraded Huddle 2 is due to be available from September. The new Android-powered phone is expected to be out at around the same time. Now, budget handsets costing under £130 now make up more than a half of all mobile phones sold in the UK. Joining me now is Ronan de Renette, who's Principal Analyst in Mobile Content and Technology Markets. For analysis, Mason, it's great to have you here with us. So, who exactly are Tesco going after here when it comes to their info? I think they are going after their, their shoppers, so the people going to Tesco shops mainly. But in terms of who are they competing with in terms of manufacturers? Yes, I, th I don't think they are trying to compete with Samsung or with iPhone. They're trying to bring a, a perfect e-commerce experience on their smartphones. So they, they want to uh, increase the number of sales of digital items, for example, like movies, music, books, etc., mm -hmm. um, via, via online. And to do that, they need to integrate the, the experience into, uh, into their own smartphone. It's quite a risky strategy, though. I mean, Tesco mm. hardly got a huge background when it comes to technology manufacturing. Mm. No, that's true. That's true. But they have a very good um, online content store. Uh, so Blinkbox, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen some results uh, that, for example, the uh, huddle users have been uh, using and spending a lot more on content and apps and pushing really the adoption of the, 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 the purchases of movies and music and books. So uh, movies, music and books are bought, more than half of it is bought via online for Tesco versus physical stores. Which is quite quite a spend. Mm. I mean, but when you look at the actual handset itself, mm. it's going to come preloaded yes. with Tesco services yes. and apps. Isn't that going to put customers off? Well, we've seen that with the huddle, it mm. hasn't. So we uh, expect that it won't for, uh, for smartphones. But you have to see that it will only address a specific target mm -hmm. of the smartphone user base. So with the huddle, 500,000 cells, it's only 3% market share in the UK for tablet users. So it's not massive. It? It's, 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 uh, when you look at it in that sense. But, you know, Tesco, you, you think about, they had their own previously, they had a budget handset, didn't they? Mm. And with this, they're going a bit higher end. Now, mm. you don't normally consider Tesco to be aspirational the same way you would consider an iPhone or even a mm. Samsung handset. So are they going mm. to succeed in pulling this one off? Is it really a prestige brand? I think they will succeed in what they're trying to achieve, mm -hmm. which is to have people spend more on items, physical and digital items. Uh, so they will succeed in that. And I think the smartphone market is not high-end anymore, as you mentioned at the beginning here. Uh, so, you know, it's more than 50% of the UK population has smartphones. So it's more of a mass market device. So they, in a way, they have to be into that market because it addresses probably more than half of their customers. So if you're looking at kind of market share, you mentioned before yeah. the huddle has about 3% yes. thereabouts. Yes. Uh, would you expect the Tesco mobile to kind of go after a similar share? I think um, to look at this, you have to look at Tesco Mobile, the MVNO. Mm -hmm. So they provide mobile voice messaging and data services. And they have, uh, I think, uh, over 4 million users now. Uh, so that's quite significant, but still in terms of market share, it's quite small. So 110%, I would say, in the UK. Uh, so you could expect something like that for smartphones. So a bigger number mm -hmm. than tablets, but uh, market share still below 10%. It's quite a big time, actually, isn't it, for mobile mm. uh, technology? Because we're also um, hearing that apparently we will see that car phone warehouse, Dixon's tie up, mm, actually yeah. come to fruition. Mm. If that happens, that kind of changes the landscape even further. So you would expect, in a way, things are going to heat up quite a bit on the high street. Yes, yes, this is quite interesting because um, I think if you, if you look at Dixon's and Carphone Warehouse, so you look at the consumer, consumer electronics industry, mm -hmm. so you look at PC cells, you look at camera cells, digital cameras, and then you look at smartphone and tablets. Smartphone and tablets are really growing, so mm -hmm. the mobile part is really growing. So it's important for Dixon's to capture that. And for Carphone Warehouse, it's important to have as much presence as possible. So I would say that in the UK, about 30% of smartphones are being sold uh, via physical retail still today. 30% still, yes. even in this day and age. Mm. 
So well, the fact that we go to the high street and you see a mobile sh phone shop, yes. every other shop, yes. there, there is a rationale for yes. that. Yes, yes. And people want to try the devices. You know, it's getting more complex now. Mm -hmm. So you have a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop, etc. So how does that work all together? I think that is key as well for Tesco. Uh, absolutely. So if we're talking now, they've got what tablets and they've got the phone so what's mm. next then for Tesco? Uh, maybe a smartwatch or a wearable you know. <laughs> you think so despite well, the kind of lukewarm reception from some other kind of wearables? Yes I think there's a lot of things you could do in the in-store experience for Tesco you know so you could go have a watch and just pay at the till with your with your smart band or your watch or something like that you know and Tesco are developing quite a lot of applications around um, enhancing the, the experience in the store so being able to uh, see what you, you purchased the last time. Mm -hmm. So you have, for example, a list on your on your phone with all your items that you've bought, etc. Then you have your coupons. Couponing is very big. So well. a, fo a watch that could do your weekly shop. I might be thinking about <laughs> investing in one of those. Well, a long time from now. <laughs> sounds like it, doesn't it? It's good to talk to you. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. That's almost all we've got time for this evening. Before I go, here's my number of the day. It's a big one. £40 million. Pounds. That's how much the former Burberry boss, Angela Ahrens, has received as a golden hello as she joins Apple. That would buy a lot of iPads, even more Tesco huddles. Do stay with us. You've been watching Sky News Business Live. All those interviews are on the iPad. The headlines are coming up next.